Hello everyone, this is attorney Ayhan Agman. What is the really benefit of you know having O1, I guess comparing the other type of work visas? What I can see is that there are actually numerous you know benefits that I could mention, and some of them I could say is that the O1 visa process does not involve Department of Labor. So there's no prevailing wage issue, such as there's no minimum wage that it has to be paid to O1 visa person. Another thing, even if the person has a J-1 visa and subject to two-year you know, uh, residency requirement, if they are changing their status or if they're getting actually a uh, visa for the O-1 visa, they're not going to be subject to that two-year residency requirement if they're actually getting the O-1 visa. And there's no cap on the number of O-1 visa can be issued you know, during the fiscal year. You know, it's, not, it's unlikely like you know, uh, the H-1B visas where there are actually cap on the number of visas will be issued every year. So the O-1 doesn't have any limitation like that. There's no minimum degree requirement for O-1 visa you know, applicants. There's no licensing requirements. What else I could add here is, say about the O-1, if an individual actually qualifies for O-1 visa, they may be qualified to petition for permanent residency based on extraordinary ability, which does not require actually permanent job offer and also bypasses the long labor process that requires you know, the type of green card applications for employment related. So I could say that there's a benefit of actually O-1 visa and there's a possibility for person to, if they continue their success, to be able to get the green card based on their extraordinary ability.